Hello everybody, this is Vardgo here, and welcome to Earth Defense Force 5. Today I'm joined with... Oh, come on, have a, like, have a bit more excitement <laughs> in your voice. <laughs> the most badass one of the group. <laughs> okay, now you're just being... Okay, anyway, we have not play or we've been playing a lot of 4.1, but we haven't played 5 yet, and so uh, we're just gonna... Jump right Venture in. Into this and see how it goes. Yep. Probably gonna get her asses kicked. <laughs> yep. Wait, hold on. The fencer can can. The fencer can equip multiple of one kind of weapon. Fencer's always been able to do that. The fencer's yeah. just a cheating asshole. <laughs> Are we supposed to be- which way are we supposed to be going, guys? Oh, that- Hey, you- Oh, Rangers, you seem to be knowing where we're going. So, you lead us. Or I'm gonna be about blowing up a door. Oh, I think we're supposed to be listening to their conversation. Also, you're in like- Is that a pink or a purple? I can't tell in this lighting. It must be purple. Unlock the blast door. What are we, stormtroopers? Oh, oh shit! I did. Not yet. Not freaking. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. No worries. Uh. Holy shit! These they break now. Oh, that's great. Oh, that. That is uh. The, the sadistic part of me is like, is so happy at seeing them break. <laughs> what? Oh, you can destroy the corpses. Oh, hey. You can kind of break them before, it just wasn't as gory before. <laughs> no. More cartoony violence. <laughs> it was. Like their their limbs would come up, or come apart. Like uh, they'd be they'd come apart at the joint. What? EFVs. What the hell is an EFV, sir? <laughs> we are the we are the team the passion and camaraderie. <laughs> uh, not as good as EDF4's song, but yeah. Weapon. Break apart the bugs. This is kind of cool for wing diver in this one. I kind of like hold it and it'll charge up my weapons and uses a bit more energy the more it held, but also does more damage and has a longer range. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no, no, no. I am not going to be an alien ant's chew toy. What, did it try to bite you? It tried sneaking up behind me. Oh, okay. guys, we wouldn't be surrounded if we just poked out and then went back into the tunnel. But no, you idiots had to charge into the middle of the hallway and stay there. Right. Who put them in charge? I don't know. Just because they have the fancier armor than us? Oh, you're, you're over there. <laughs> That's where you are. They should the have guy. powered exoskeletons in the hangar. <laughs> the sergeant has a license for it. Leave it to me! <laughs> oh, hi! Oh, there is a hive. Uh, were you ready for this? Oh, 
Jesus. <laughs> These ants are still going even when they're like torn in half. Hey, that's somewhat realistic. Yeah. Am I supposed to be sticking with the squad or? I think we are supposed to be sticking with that squad of rangers for now. So much for their powered exoskeleton. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. Can I shoot the sergeant? Nice. <laughs> the response to that. He doesn't seem to care that he just took a power, power lamp for the map. How about you not split a spit acid on me, bugs? I'm not into that. Is this the monster's realm? No, this is supposed to be our base, you idiot. We built it underground when we know the bugs live underground. Well, we keep. Well, apparently the EDF keeps thinking that they exterminated all of the giant insects, but uh, how long does that last? Seven years. Seven years. I mean, that was the time frame between EDF 4.1 and whatever the game before it was. Uh, EDF go, 2025? Because we thought the last of the bugs were killed seven years ago. Yeah. It was, a uh, 2025 was the previous one. It was like EDF 2017, or was it 2018? Yeah, no, it was 2017, then it was 2025. So it's seven to eight years between when the bugs show up. Yeah, the ants are crawling through the hole in the ceiling that they broke through. What were you people expecting? Where's the... Oh, there he is. change <laughs> route. <laughs> Wait, I look like a guard. You're a private security guard. I'm not, right now. I'm not a soldier, I'm just private security? Yeah, right now you're just private security, and I just have, well, I have a flight suit and was supposed to be doing routine test flight. Oh my god. So until we beat, uh, so we... But as they said, at this point at least we are civilians. I get apparently someone entrusted me with high powered laser weaponry. <laughs> Don't know if that was their brightest idea. Oh, that guy in front's gonna die. A high powered laser lamp and a plasma cannon they entrusted. Just quiet. No, I don't Too trust quiet. this. I don't trust this. This is literally a B movie, or like a, a like a B movie, a, a like or B alien action movie in a game form. I don't trust a quiet open room because that's going to be something. Yeah, no, we're about to encounter like an alien queen or something. Or not? So um, so a quick question: Is this base in uh? Like, this is for vehicles to go through. Here's the question, though. Is this, like, a English or, like, a, or U.S. base? I don't know. I didn't catch that in what I was reading. Yeah, because, uh, Sorry. like, because if it's English, vehicles go on the left. If it's, if it's like, American, it, vehicles go on the right. <laughs> if it's proper, they go on the right. <laughs> if it's proper. I've heard a, like, I was talking with one of my British friends, and he said, you don't, you drive on the improper side. <laughs> I find it funny, I was just hey, like... Hey, 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 we will show the British what is proper, by force if necessary. Hey, don't be mean. We will cross the frozen river, and slit your throats in your sleep on Christmas. No shit, we Americans have done that. <laughs> uh, don't be mean to the British. Look, like, look, let the past be the past. 
We've already won. <laughs> I, I've just ticked off. Twice. So, twi <laughs> what, what do you mean twice? Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. Alright. The first Wait. one was primarily just against the British. The second one it was against the British and the Canadians. <laughs> oh, we, the Canadians can't be at war. They're too nice. <laughs> Oh god, so, I'm gonna to get it. The war of 1812, they did manage to burn the White House. They still lost. <laughs> and uh, it, I, I, I should stop. I'm gonna. I'm already in so much trouble for for this as is. <laughs> like, uh, uh, jokes on. Can give him a history lesson. Yeah. With an American bias. Oh hi. Uh, well. See, now that's what you're expecting in a wide open room. Yep. Exterminate! 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 Okay, but I would much prefer a bolt gun over, or like a bol <laughs> or like a bolter over, over, over this assault rifle. I, I wouldn't mind an MA5B assault rifle. <laughs> I am not going to get into this conversation of like a, but like a, this or gun. Or common focus rifle. A any right or like any sci-fi weapon that is stronger than this. Heck, I'd take a LAS gun over this thing. Or like over like a, an MC. I, I would take the, scree the noisy cricket over this thing. <laughs> it, it's the little cricket, I thought. What was the noisy cricket? Oh, whatever it is, it's the uh, the men in black god the, gun. The, the, the something cricket. Yes. It's the, uh, the men in black god gun, pretty much. <laughs> Tiny derringer size pistol. I've got a hell of a kit. The exit is not far. We'll be fine once we get to the surface. You've you've talked about getting to the surface so often at this point. Aha! My health kit! You weren't injured. No, I wasn't. Then why Apparently are you, you can... Oh! Oh, you can sprint now! Da -da 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 what? I can't sprint. <laughs> this holding... isn't fair. I'm holding shift. Ah! My jetpack's still faster. <laughs> Whoa, poke! Uh, I ran back to get you, and then you boosted off. The bright white light! <laughs> Mission cleared! Yeah! <laughs> We've made it to the surface. Ranger, Ranger. Oh, I got a weapon for Pinsir. Vibro Hammer F3. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. They changed up that. I, yeah, I got ranger weapons and an air raider weapon. Up, up. Oh yeah, no, like. And I got armor up for wing diver, ranger, and fencer. Like, like supposedly, like a third of the equipment you pick up on a mission will go to another class, and then like armor and stuff is split between all the cl or split between multiple classes just to make uh, going through. Or replaying the game as other classes a bit easier. Oh, I can get a sniper rifle. Um. Uh, these are all like five, five or six stars. Not sure what that means, because primarily what it's grading us on right now is our uh, weapon level. Yeah. We did it, civilian. Okay, so select mission. Yeah, oh, it doesn't it. say where the base is located. It just says it's in the outskirts of a city. Yeah. Oh. Well. Ready. Weapon Ready. level limit up to level two. That's what it's been on the easiest difficulty so far. Uh, easiest or difficulty. It's difficulty. been on normal. Whatever difficulty we're on. Yeah. I'd much rather figure out what the the nuances of the new of this one before I just ch jump so into hard you mode. Can do laser sight. Ah. Uh...
Why is there? Why are there so many tanks? There, why are there so many mechs just sitting tanks around? And mechs just, that are just lying around. I'd love to hop in one of them and just start murdering aliens. Yeah. Wait, did someone just make a joke of like it's like a movie out here? I'm here. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, where's the commander? I'm here. I just I heard one of the guys say, "Where's the replacement commander?" Ah. Uh. And then I didn't hear anything after that. This is interesting though. My my blaster, as it's called here, my medium range laser. The less energy I have in it, the less powerful it seems to be. Oh, that, that's nice, actually. Interesting mechanic they added in. Ah, uh, this security officer is outdoing much of your military personnel, EDF. What are you training them? Yeah, they might be acid resistant, but I'm pretty sure they're not acid proof, buddy. And if EDF 4.1 taught me anything, it's uh, from the end of that game to this game, the bugs outpaced us again. Yep, looks like it. Oh no, the second lieutenant was eaten. Well, I'll fill that role. Incoming monsters! Why can't I get in the mech? If you don't have a license for it, we might get it. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, 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 you cannot tell me I have to fight. I am a civilian here! I am just a random security guard with a missile launcher, apparently. Oh, that makes sense. What? Oh, it sounds like from what some of the chat is talking about, they have to power up the exoskeleton. Oh yeah, no, that that makes sense. And put in some sort of authorization thing for them. That makes sense that they wouldn't just have their powered exoskeletons around that just anyone could climb into. I mean, think about it. The black market would love to get their hands on some EDF tech. Imagine if a not-so-friendly civilian got in them. Ah, uh, EDF. This is a special news flash. There have been accounts of UFO sightings everywhere across the globe, and this time the UFOs aren't just moving flashes of light caught on camera. According to eyewitnesses, they saw flying objects made of metal. For now, the identity of these objects remains unclear. Since there are reports of sightings coming from everywhere, it is speculated that there are multiple UFOs flying in different areas. Get off our max! Ow, you shot me! Sorry, that gun, I can't really stop shooting once I charge it up and fire. There's Oh, powered exoskeletons are turning on. This is Yoda 2, ready to fight some monsters. Yoda 2? <laughs> oh my god. I think it's like Y O T T A like the number, but uh 
It, we know exactly what it's supposed to be. Hey, it's a Star Wars reference, I'm gonna call it out. Well, now that the mechs are up, up and operational, it seems like they've taken care of things. Oh my god! Are we just going around collecting all the crates that we can? Yep. Hey, if they're willing to do all the killing for us. Oh wait, I can sprint now! I don't have to roll like crazy anymore. Yeah, I have at least with these weapons a uh, right-click dash ability. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we got a lot more. Oh yeah. Oh, remember how it would constantly give us, like, duplicates in EDF 4? Or 4.1? Yeah. I think whenever we get a duplicate, it slightly raises the strength of the original weapon. Yeah, it almost looks like it does. Because it says up on some of these weapons. Okay. Get to get another plasma for you. Yeah, same. I still don't have support equipment. Okay, so I have the missile launcher. There's... Okay, I got, like, <laughs> the Minion Buster. Screw it! <laughs> Let's take this one. You didn't take up your weapon, the minion. <laughs> yeah, I, I just said this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's go, er, let's go see how this goes. What the heck? I don't like you. Break the pylon! I like how it's just like me immediately. It, the pylon. It's like there's this big glowy bit to it. I got uh, in video games. That's the uh, that's the bit that you hit. Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! This minion buster is good. At this rate, it'll become a monster nation. Wait, what? This is a follow-up report on the UFOs. A monster has appeared in the same area where a UFO was previously sighted. It is said to be 10 meters long, extremely aggressive, and will most likely attack humans. Stay tuned for more updates. You know, is aliens even like newsworthy beyond we are in a state of or we are in a state of emergency anymore? 
That's another one. If the pylon falls into the city, it will cause heavy casualties. Not only casualties, the whole city will be gone. What is going on? What in the world are we fighting against? This is more than an act of terrorism. Does that mean we're at war with some country? This is the world at war. <laughs> about to travel abroad next week. Just my luck. <laughs> well, my friend in Europe just told me that Marseille is being attacked by thousands of monsters. Are you saying that we're not the only ones being attacked? No! This is the same universe as literally all those other... Like, as all those other EDF games. same setting as all those other EDF games, right? So why is no one acting like this is something that's happened before? This is a special news flash. There have been multiple sightings of monsters in different areas. They can be highly dangerous, so please act with extreme caution in case you witness these monsters. Do not make an attempt to approach and report to the authority immediately. Oh! Oh, there's a small circle around me when I'm sprinting that if, if any boxes are in the circle while I'm sprinting, they are automatically collected. Oh, crap. Um... Grenades, support equipment, lightweight protector, ooh. Walking speed, 110%. Dash speed, 120%. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. Head out to the city at Oh Shattered Peace. I mean, but still though, shouldn't they at this point recognize that like uh aliens are attacking whenever giant insects are involved? No! Attack the monsters and stop the disaster from spreading. Oh, oh, you're mute. That's why you haven't been responding. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I didn't realize I muted myself and unmuted. Yeah, no, I here I was questioning why you weren't responding, and it's just like, I checked Discord and you're like... I think at one point, I didn't hear if you caught that, that I almost wonder if this game might be a prequel to the others, but they don't. Aren't aware of the Ravengers and the events of the other games, or at least this first a bit. Maybe. Which freaking country made these weapons? How can anyone create those horrible things? I'll find out who's behind all this horrible stuff and teach the guy a lesson. I mean, but if this was a prequel, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, or at least this part right here is like a prequel starting before the events of some of the previous games and then flowing through the events of those games. Yeah. But then, uh, why would the EDF have a facility? Yeah, that's... Sergeant, move with tanks. They can block off the acid from the monsters. Once the monsters get close, move with the tanks. Move with the tanks! We're, uh... We've completely forgotten that. We're in the blast zone of the tank's shots. Sergeant, the 
army is much stronger than you can imagine. The whole world is being attacked right now. We already have our hands full with managing the situation. Pylon doesn't seem to want to be going down. No, these things are durable. We got we got to kill those pylons. I love how I'm still just a security officer that's running around with a missile launcher. Right. Our our appearance is that of civilians running around with high tech weaponry. I know, right? I have a I have like a gun that looks far more prototype than any of those. High-tech military-grade weapon. Yep. This is the Strategic Intelligence Division. We will support you in the combat. Thank you for the support. About time more than just us were doing something. We've determined the location of the gigantic ship. So that's the ship that deploys those pylons. It's flying above the combat area now. It may deploy pylons. Please be on high alert to the sky. More pylons? Ah, oh, gosh, that was a... Yeah, oh. Dropping more pylons. Oh, jeez, that did not sound nice. One of the EDF guys just started screaming. I think he got crushed under the thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, that thing landed on our tanks. Okay, I need to focus on what's going on around me because I was shooting at those pylons and I'm just surrounded by ants. Ah! This game is oddly satisfying. I don't know what what it about the EDF games makes them so oddly satisfying, but it's great. Killing the giant spiders help you get over your arachnophobia. Oh fuck those things. Oh, that sounds like you're over your arachnophobia to me! <laughs> Why am I friends with you sometimes? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Come on! Break the glass! Jeez, how much more is this one going to take? Uh, I don't know. I've killed one. I've killed one of the pylons right next to me. Estimated time of arrival is... It's already right next to ground level. Oh, so wait. Is this not even us, actually? Is this just gonna be, like, where these characters die and then we're on the next level? So far, the identity of the flying objects remains unclear as governments worldwide deny involvement. And it hasn't been confirmed whether other organizations are involved. Although the government promised to clarify the situation, the current state is in chaos for authorities in question, so the situation remains obscure. 
Ah! <laughs> Bugs. You know? Like, if this isn't a prequel, though, shouldn't these, like, uh, shouldn't alien invasions really bug out the, or the people of this planet? It's just, like, really bug them? Oh, it, it, it just, oh, the Ravengers have returned and they brought their bugs with them again. Yep. It's just like, this bugs me. They won't stop. Okay, that looks like a different mothership. Does that look like the Ravagers to you? That does not look like your standard Ravager mothership. Standard Ravager mothership looks more... Like a sphere? Spherical rather than a actual flying saucer. Well, then you work for the EDF. Why do you work for the EDF if you don't believe in these things? And it has the cheesy alien music in the background. Yeah. If they're terrified of the giant ants, wait till they meet Godzilla. I know. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm getting out of the city. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Me and my endless stamina legs are just gonna book it. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> MLRA. Oh, a special weapon? Unidentified flying objects. KFF 50. Yeah, let's go with the sniper rifle this time. Actually, wait, hold on. How much damage does that do? 104, 100. Oh, missile launcher, that. You know what? I'd rather have the sniper rifle over the, um, over missile launchers usually whenever it comes to like uh, knocking down a bunch of stuff. I don't think it is. I am ready. Ow. Wait, did you get shot? Uh, by myself on accident. Permission to attack, granted. I didn't need your attack, or I didn't need your permission. I'm killing these things. I am a civilian, recall. I do not need your permission to defend myself. What do you mean there are too many, soldier? I'm just a security guard. And I'm, and I'm, feel, and I'm not feeling the pressure. Autonomous battle drones, 
and I am afraid their targets are humans. Unmanned or killing weapons. Darn, darn, darn. God, the, the acting is, or like the voice acting is so cheesy. I know. Horny. It feels like something out of an 80s movie, or not even an 80s movie, just like uh, something that a group of friends put together just for the fun of it. we've been doing if we're not shooting them down. This is Wingdiver. We have arrived on the scene. All members are equipped with equipment D. Very well. Attack the flying saucers. Good. Don't spare any drones, or they will attack civilians. Destroy them all. Incoming. Uh, medkits. Oh, medkits scattered about. Yep. Civilians are in danger, so shoot down as many of them as possible. So far, no substantial information about the flying I got. I got. This, uh, I got. Like. Uh, I got swarmed. that can perform such a large-scale attack. In order to find out the truth, the suspected parties should be closely monitored. Investigation closely monitor the sub suspected parties. Yeah, that... That always worked in history. <laughs> yeah. I know when that seems popular to blame right now. They're saying it has to be a powerful country. Russia! It's all Russia's fault. Oh, God. No. blame Russia for it. No, don't. I was going to say North Korea. North Korea is not a powerful country. Well, I mean, they're the only ones who'd make something like this. Yeah, but. No. I don't want to get it. I wouldn't put it past the Japanese after nuking them twice. <laughs> um, uh, no, they've uh, they've definitely have uh, been very against the or uh, uh, they've been very against a lot of their. Uh, I mean, old regime maybe. After World War II, they would. Uh, hey, hey, I don't. Hey, game, would you not do this to me right now? Uh, yeah, I got, I got killed from that. Uh, well, er, like, after World War II Japanese, I don't think they'd be anything like that. Okay. Oh shit! I got hit by the cannon. You got caught in the blast of the genocide gun. No doubt, those things are aliens. This is not just a world war; it is a space war. <laughs> it's not just a world war; it's a space war. You, how many times have you had to save me? Three times. Oh, come on! I touched the med kit! Oh, so wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. You have a better shot at survival because all their guns are on the bottom.
Give me the med kit. Though I gotta say, these are some poorly made UFOs if, like, two shots from a sniper rifle can destroy them. This is Strategic Command Headquarters. What do you mean by hostile forces? Please tell me which force specifically. They're back! What is the Air Force doing? There are just way too many! You know, I agree with one of those guys on the comms. What is the Air Force doing? I know, right? There's so many drones! A freaking... F4 Tomcat would be very useful against these guys right now. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm, like, this keeps happening to me. I'm not trying to be useless. Move! Stay mobile! Don't stand around in one place a lot! No, I've been moving! I was over- I'm, Cover! I was over by where you are! What cover? They broke all of it! I have got an achievement called Rescue from this mission. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of... It's not that hard when you got, like, friggin' jetpack and you can fly above everyone. Uh, no! Um, yeah, you wanna come shoot down the drones, Command? <laughs> yeah, they... All their guns are on the bottom. I can't do anything. You've been... No, I went... We were even trying to shoot these drones down. It's not exactly a simple task. Hey, at least I can take cover behind enemy or like the crashed, the crashed drones. Oh, we got mechs running around now too. A great number of drones were dispatched from the gigantic ship. There were thousands of them. Oh my god. The drones split into teams of hundreds. Citizens are in great danger now. No, they're not gonna start a war. They're gonna attempt a genocide. Yep. Oh, I'm just gonna run around and collect as many crates as I can. Uh, weapons crate. Literally anything of value I could get my hands on. Gimme. Where's the last drone? Right over there. Uh, wait, there's a crate way over here. What's this one? Yeah, you can get it. Uh, health crate over here. Oh, you need that. Uh, typical EDF. 
Just like running around after the, or like when there's one guy left looking for whatever of value to scavenge. And another help crate thing is all of the crates on. Got him. Sergeant, take the civilians to a safe place. Yes, please, take us to a safe area. <laughs> Would you kindly <laughs> Uh Oh my gosh, that was... Then again, maybe we should stay on the field with them so, you know, they seem to be useless without us. Yeah, it seems. Air Raider, request gunships up. <laughs> Capacity of this rocket launcher. It goes from two to two, but it says it's goes it's gone up. Okay. Okay, the plan was to head to the city to but look at the flying saucers in the sky. We need to be careful. Okay, so uh, it looks like it's just... Wait, where'd the, where'd the missile launcher I had go? There we go. I don't I don't know what was Oh, there's a slider there. No. Oh, okay, that <laughs> Wow, that's a lot better. Burner, a gas burner for welding. Since it's for job purpose, one should lower the expectation of it as a weapon. One more mission for the recording? Yeah. There we go. Armored vehicle grape. Where credits are due. Okay. This is Dolphin. We're hiding in buildings, but there are flying saucers all around us. This is Rabbit. We're surrounded by flying saucers and can't move. We should go save our men. That's too risky. I won't let you die. Sergeant, do you hear me? We have info about the flying saucers. This is the Strategic Intelligence Division. Flying saucers are unmanned drones, meaning that we can still defeat them, even if they outnumber us. The color of the drone is the key. A blue drone is in alert mode and is presumed to be harmless, so the drones that glow in blue are not dangerous. But under certain circumstances, the drones will turn red. Red color drones are in combat mode. They are killing machines that can trace and kill their targets. The drones in this area are all in alert mode. Don't fight all the drones at once. Lure a few of them each time and then destroy them. One by one. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Sergeant, destroy the rest of the drones. Use this method well, and you can win. There is no time to waste now. Sergeant, 
Support the dolphin team and the rabbit team right away. The dolphin team and the rabbit team. Look, <laughs> I... Look, the, we don't have to praise the them on their team making names. But, uh, no, that's pretty cool that they actually made... Oh! Sorry, what? We can, uh, we don't have to fight all of them at once. Yeah. You know, I don't like having this fuel refinery behind us. I'm oh, playing around with lasers and explosive stuff. Yeah, that's fair point. Uh, where's... Oh, that was a perfect shot. You know when you need to hide? Hiding under that underpass for, for, for the... It provides great cover. Oh, yeah. ...conditions in which the alert mode switches to combat mode. There are three conditions. First, humans reach closest point of approach distance. Second, they are attacked. Third, when a drone is hit, nearby drones will turn into combat mode. That means the drone that was hit will inform the drones around it about the enemy. Prepare to engage. Yes, sir. Oh, that way it may have been a little bit bigger of a swarm than intended. That was above us. to reload. <laughs> huh. Oh, hi. That's where you were hiding. Where is it? I don't see it. <laughs> it was straight above us. Oh. Unfortunately, we suffered a preemptive strike and lost many bases. In addition, our enemy has been launching indiscriminate attacks on our cities by dropping monsters. As I am speaking, the casualties are increasing. Everyone we have no choice but to fight. God, Gideon, I am a civilian. You cannot force me to fight. <sighs> yeah, it's just like, wait, how did a, how did a civilian get his hands on a 50 cal sniper rifle if not higher caliber? I mean, is it possible in the U.S. for you to buy a 50 cal and that material rifle? Right? That's right. I mean, I recently heard of something where, like, a guy tried to sneak a disassembled missile launcher through the TSA and bo er, through both of his carry-on bags. And the, well, and here's the thing: the TSA, like, like, uh, they they made him have a slight delay as it, like, because they said so they were checking something, and it, but they called it like a cop on him because that's not something you're supposed to bring through TSA, especially in carry-on. Yeah. Yeah, no, missile launchers are mostly elite. Then, if you can somehow find a way to own one through the black market, you can legally own one, but you can't really fire them off anywhere without getting in trouble. Yeah, TSA had would... to reaffirm because of this that missile launchers are not allowed on flights. Now, um, what was it? 
in Florida, you can fire a miss, a missile or a rocket launcher. As long as you get the, um, what is it, the something division of ch the Chamber of Comber Commerce, okay, before you do so. We did an amazing job. If we can analyze the data, we might be able to change the tide. So, Felia, you are pretty good. This time, I will definitely take you to a safe place. It is our duty to protect citizens, after all. I've been doing more work than you have. And you're calling me I mean, look. I don't care. I just go to melt him. <laughs> uh, oh, Call us citizens to say we did a great job and this time you'll definitely take us to a safe place. Yep. Why didn't you already take us to a safe place? Yep. But uh, that's all the time I have for today, so thank you everyone so much for watching and for joining me in EDF5, and thank you Voidline for joining me. With pleasure. <laughs> Until we get around to killing, bug, er, we, killing bugs again, and there's a fly in my room that's bothering me as I'm trying to do my outro. <laughs> and uh, thanks, every, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.